Well, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, whatever your current life situation is. Hello, YouTube. This is Jeffrey Kite coming back at you again with another episode of Kite's Curiosities. With today, or tonight, I should say, that's my life situation right now. Tonight, we've got four packs, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight packs of baseball cards to open up that I got out of my prize pack from Wayback Sports Cards. Again, as in the previous episodes I've talked about most recently on my channel, I won a contest from Wayback Sports Cards, and I got a huge, huge uh, lot of sports cards, and uh, I was so gracious to, to get that and to win that awesome, amazing prize pack, and I uh, thought I would show my appreciation by doing these reveal videos so uh and just take them one at a time one sport or one section at a time out of that trading card box that i got so at any rate further ado hey y'all go check out way back sports cards okay we got some 1990 tops and the cards we hope to pull out of there of course the frank thomas no name on front ken griffey jr gold cup card Juan Gonzalez, rookie, Sammy Sosa, rookie, Bernie Williams, rookie. So lots of good cards to pull out of there. And I'm trying to work on this set. Not actively, but I'm going to try. I work on it every now and again when I find the cards and stuff. Then I got 1991 Series 2 Top Stadium Club. Uh, this is Series 2. So the big card out of here is the jeff bagwell rookie card that's card number 388 i believe series one was cards one through 300 and series two is cards 300 through or 301 through 600 and uh then we got some 1995 tops embossed cards um these if you go back and look at uh way back sports cards he opened up some of these packs, and uh, to me, they reminded me of the old action pack. Y'all remember action pack football cards had back in the early 90s? The had that embossed, you know, raised up picture on there. That's what these cards remind me of, and I, I kind of think, and I was going back and forth with Anthony on that channel, on that uh, episode of that channel uh, with way back sports cards, and I told him that maybe Tops was trying to get in on the game. From Action Pack. Action Pack was making a ton of money off them cards, and I think Tops tried to get in on that action too, so I'll let y'all be the judge of that. Then we got two packs of these cartoons. Um I don't really know what to think about those. Are they I mean they they're spoof cards. And um like this one right here of my favorite one of my favorite baseball players, Jose Canseco. They called him Rambo Canseco on the card. And um, this Juan Gonzalez, it's, they called it wand, like W-A-N-D, like a, his bat's a, a magic wand, and he makes magic on the baseball field or something. It's, it, they're kind of silly cards. And, I mean, he the guy that designed them, he, uh, he had some political kind of – innuendo cards on there and he takes a shot at you know different things going on with baseball back in the mid 90s as y'all know there was a player strike in 1994 that shut baseball down and caused 1995 season to be delayed and it was all over money and contracts and things and they they kind of just you know he he kind of kind of took a stab at some of that but Anyway, it might be some might be some good fun things to open up. See, so without further ado, let's get on in here and start digging in. Let's see, we're just gonna go from left to right and on our way down here. Let's see. Here's the gum. <laughs> yeah. Let's see what we can pull out of here. We got some kind of card right there. It looks like a special card. I don't know what it could be. Oh, 
That was just the spring fever card. Okay. Let's check it out here. All right, Brian Holman. Tim Tuffle. Checklist card. Camelo Castillo. There you go. Craig Biggio, all-star card. Hall of Famer. Steve Davis. Adam Peterson. Willie Frazier. The Spring Spring Fever Baseball. Got Ernie Witt. Mike Brumley. I think I need that one. I don't remember seeing that card. Hubie Brooks. Luis Quinones. The man. The other one for my Braves. Derek Lilliquist. He's a good player. Mike Schooler. Luis Polonia. Matt Noakes. All right, so no Thomas, no Griffey Jr., no Nolan Ryan out of that one, no Gonzalez Sosa, Bernie Williams. Let's see what pack two has. Springtime fever card out. Bob Rogers. Steve Lyons. George Canal. Dave Clark. Ken, nice one. Keith Hernandez. Hal Morris. Is this a... I don't think... I don't think that's a rookie card. But that's a very early Hal Morris card. Went on to play for the Reds. Helped them win a World Series in 1995. Scott Lusader. One bell. Chris Carpenter. Yep, from the University of Georgia. I want to say, I want to say, I'm pretty sure he was a punter for the University of Georgia and played baseball. Now, y'all look that up. See if I'm wrong on that. Art Howe, Jeffrey Leonard, Mickey Tettleton, Dave LaPointe, Liberty University's very own Lee Guterman, as a soon-to-be Liberty University graduate. I've read a lot about Lee Guterman in their sports history pages. And Charlie Huff and Jose Akendo. So no, no big names out of the 1990 tops. But that's all right, though. We're going to see which of them I need for my set. All right, let's see. 1991 second series. If you knew what you was looking for, you could pack search these. I ain't getting no names or anything out of that. So anyway, let's open them up. See what, see what we can find here. Harold Baines, that's a nice Hall of Famer. That, that would look good, TTM. I'm thinking about doing a Harold Baines career retrospective um, collage, collection, whatever you want to call it, where I get one of every, an autograph of him in every uh, Major League jersey that he uh, played in, every Major League team he was on. So that'll be a good one for the A's right there. Jose Mesa, Dave Bergman, and Jeff Robinson. A second. Okay. 
Daryl Strawberry. Let's see, Dave Martinez. Daryl Eckerfields. Bill Landrum. Tom Herr. Brett Butler. Henry Cotto. And David Cohn. All right. No Bagwell out of that. Let's try to pull last pack magic. Let's see what happens. Corey Snyder. Oh, nice. Jeff Blauser. He, uh, he does not do TTM. We all know where he lives in the Atlanta area. I mean, his, his address is no secret, but he will not do TTM. He will not make public appearances. He is just, he's just done. Um, a couple of us that, you know, deep pocket collectors were trying to and draw him out and try to get him to do some signings, but he just he just don't want to. And uh, I got two items, just two. If I could just get a signature on two items, I would I would never ask him again. So they're team set collectibles from the 1991 and 1992 um, season. If I can just get him on those two lithographs, I'd I'd be satisfied. But Maybe one day, Mr. Blouser, maybe one day. Just let you know, if you ever see this, Mr. Blouser, we love you. We love you, and we'd love to meet you and tell you what you meant to us on all them great Braves teams you was on. Uh, Scott Aldred, Luis Soho. That's kind of a neat-looking card laying down a bunt. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. Chris Hammond, he's a good TTMer. He lives over in uh, over in uh, Birmingham, I think, or Montgomery, somewhere over in Alabama. Ed Sprague, Ugh. killed my Braves in the '92 and '93 '92 series. Steve Olin, God rest his soul. Chris James. Steve Howe, do we get Bagwell on the last card? Well, we still got a chance. Nope. Luis Aquino and Carl Nichols. It was, it was an Astros player, but Warden Craig. Herbs. Bagwell, Jeff Bagwell. That's who was we looking for. All right, so we struck out with those. <laughs> but this is fun. It's good fun rips. You know. Let's see what we can get out of here. Hopefully I can pull a, a David Justice card out of here. He's in this set. So, or Conseco. I think he's in this set, too. Those are my two favorites coming up. Maybe a Bo Jackson or something. I don't think, well, I don't know. I don't think Bo Jackson's in this set. I think he retired from the Angels by then. Todd Zeal, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, you can, there you go. See how that card's raised up on the, on the top there? Todd Zeal. Oh, cool, they're even raised up on the back. There you go. Oh! Oh, nice! Now this, let me tell y'all about this. These, um, they made some inserts. I don't know, when I was looking at the player, I didn't even notice the name. They made some foil inserts here of some of the award winners. And this is a Jeff Bagwell Rookie of the Year 91 and MVP 94. 
So we didn't get the Bagwell rookie, but we did pull a Bagwell foil card. Nice. A Moises Alou. Okay, here's a gold looking card of Delano de Shield. See how they're kinda kinda different there? Hmm. Never seen anything about gold colored cards and thing here. That's kinda neat. And Joe Carter and Jeff Kent. Oh, Jeff can I say. Mm, I don't think that's a rookie, but that was his rookie season, 94, when he, no, it was 93, 93, he played, and he reached his rookie, uh, rookie limits, 93, 92, 93, so, good, I like them two now, so, so, so decent pulls there. Nice looking cards. Excited about that bag well. I wasn't thinking of pulling one of them inserts. That's kind of nice. Oh, we got another one. Oh, Tim Salmon. Rookie of the year, 93. That's nice. Slide bags on down. The shields. And in there. Oh, another one. Frank Thomas. Now, I've seen some of these grayed out. You know, get a pretty nice chunk of change on it. I think this Frank Thomas. I saw, I mean, not, you ain't going to get rich off it, but I think I've seen it grayed out in the Jim Mint 10, grayed out at about eh, $10, 20 So, put him right there. Let's see, Rob Beck. Ooh, Ozzy Gee and Gold Award. Winner, I gotta check these four cards out now. This, I might be on to something. Yvonne Rodriguez and Will Clark. I wonder how these would go TTM if when they go to sign it, if the pin would bump or, or what have you on that. I wonder how they would look. I might try my hand out on send a couple of these out. If I can get them back. I haven't been getting a lot of stuff back lately. All right, let's wrap it up with these card tunes here. I don't, I don't know what kind of silliness I'm going to find out of here. So we'll, we'll see. It'll be fun. Uh, let's see. This is a Robin Adventura. <laughs> Wild Pitch Mitch, I guess. I guess this would be Robin Ventura, and then this would be Mitch Williams. Uh, says Hot Prospect Manager. The kid is a real hot prospect. He has a smart agent, an uptown PR man, and a clean urine test. <laughs> I think that's one of them little political cards that uh, the guy uh, who designed these came up with. That was I was getting right around into the into that uh into that era where they were starting to kind of test and question people a little bit. You got Doctor OK, I guess, because he's. Fixing a brand of guy, OK Corral, I guess, with Doc Good in there. Let's see, we've got Reggie October. Yeah, Reggie Jackson. Spin off on the name Mr. October. Let's see what this says. This says uh, 
the wave. Okay, it says, I'm not doing the wave. I'm being held up by these ticket prices. Man, these cards came out in 1995, and they were complaining about ticket prices back then, man. Gee, I can't imagine what people would say if now, or what people say now versus the price if they saw how much prices were back then. I mean, you can. I've seen people go to World Series game for two hundred dollars back in the day. You can't. You can't get. You can't even sniff a World Series game for two hundred dollars now. Let's see, oh Tony, Tony Twin. Ah, that's kind of mean because you know. Tony had gained a little bit of weight in his latter years. He wasn't as skinny as he was when he was coming up. Eh, I, don't I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that card. That's that's kind of. Eh. Oh, and then there's some puzzle cards that they make there. All right, let's open up old Rambo Conseco pack and see what we can get out of here. There's a David Justice card here called Swift Justice that I'm uh, hoping I can get. There's also a, a Jordan card in here where it's got him swinging a bat, and he's like swinging and missing a basketball, and they call it Air Jordan, nothing but air. He's, I mean, kind of a mean card, but, you know, to a Jordan collector, somebody may, may want that if you grade it out in the Jim Mint 10. Let's see here. Uh, oh, Robbery Thompson. It's Robbie Thompson of the Giants. He's a pretty good third baseman there. Uh, Greg Mad Dogs. A spinoff on Greg Mad Dog Maddox. Go here. Oh, Robin Hood Yaunt. Ah, kind of cheesy. Let's see, out of the park. Oh, I guess uh, Chang Chan Ho Park. I guess. So, anyway. Oh, uh, loose Pinella. I think is a loose cannon. Lou Pinella, loose cannon, cussing, swinging a baseball bat. Throwing things on the field. Oh, True Brett. Spin off of a True Grit movie starring John Wayne, but this time we got George Brett on there. Oh! There's a foil card. There you go. I think, yeah. Uh, looks different. Foil card of, uh, oh, it says Bow Action. <laughs> And there's a typical baseball bat and football in his hand. He's in a Superman costume. And so, okay. That's pretty nice looking. I won't feature that one. I like to. I, I was a big bow fan. And, oh, this is the Field of Dreams. that Or Field of, oh, Field of Greed. A puzzle he did. Where is he? No salary cap and. Old timers, you know, going on strike or something, so trying to fight the reserve clause, but yeah, hmm. very interesting. So, what y'all think? Uh, it was, it was fun, it was fun little packs. I've never seen those, um, these tops embossed cards, I've never seen the uh, the um those um cartoon cards or anything just tell me what y'all think what y'all think of this break uh i enjoyed it it was fun hope y'all found it fun too all right folks like comment subscribe do whatever you want to do till next time y'all take care now have a good one Bye.